No military battles were fought at Valley Forge. Valley Forge was a winter encampment of more than 12,000 soldiers and hundreds of civilians. The Continental Army spent six months retraining, resupplying, and preparing for the next season of battle against the British. While skirmishes did take place surrounding the encampment, the greatest battles at Valley Forge were fought against deadly diseases, hunger, and inadequate supplies. The winter was actually relatively mild. Meteorological records by local resident Thomas Coombe show average daily temperatures of 33 degrees during the first month of the encampment. Finding shelter from the cold winds and weather was the greater problem. Many of the difficulties faced by the army at Valley Forge were due more to rain than snow. Rain prevented vital supplies from arriving in camp as rivers became treacherously swollen and local roads became muddy and impassable. The intermittent snow and rain created miles upon miles of sticky, foul-smelling mud that slowed movement within the encampment. It would have been unlikely for Washington to pray in public where soldiers might come upon him. And there is no eyewitness account or historical evidence to support this story. The legend was popularized in 1804 by biographer Parson Weems, who also spread the myth of Washington cutting down a cherry tree. Washington did frequently write about divine providence in his letters and ensured that his soldiers had access to chaplains of various denominations. What's going on and be caring for While we are zealously performing the duties of good citizens and soldiers, we certainly ought not to be inattentive to the higher duties of religion. These inaccurate yet popular romantic myths about Valley Forge greatly aided recognition of the encampment within American culture, creating a public awareness that ultimately helped to preserve these historic grounds as a national park.